So hello everyone, in this video we'll be uh, figuring out how we can uh, run our app if I close my terminal. So it should be running. And the second one is we have to change our server URL, which is this one, from localhost to our current IP address, which is this one. And later if we add any domain in this instance, so that we can also change similarly. Let me just uh, change it by this one, which is this IP address so I can make changes here you can see we have it and now similarly we have to do services I can do that as well now let me just save it now if I just add get uh, get add command and these gets and if I just add git commits and I add some message, let's say added or you can say let's say changed API address in clients. That's it. Now if I just uh, push it dash u origin master. So we'll be having our latest changes in the GitHub repository. And now we can, uh, let me just go to that part. Okay, now if I just open the terminal again by using connect. And in here, if I just uh, write git, oh, let me just go to the directory, stdocs, directory to do and there was dodo clear ls yeah now i can add git pull to get the latest changes from the github repository now what i can do is uh, earlier we were starting with the command of npm start right so you can install pm2 package and then you can start pm2 command this pm2 command will uh, run our app if I uh, like for forever like, like forever package is also there to start this kind of application this kind of behavior so it runs our application even if I close this terminal by myself like so th that is the case it runs uh, our app so I can write pm2 start and then I can specify the name of my app uh, let me just specify the file name as well that is server.js and then I can specify the name and the name will be uh, the name of our app so let's say to do app and then I can start our app by using dash dash and then you have to put a space and then you can click uh, right start here so this will start our application to do app uh, for this uh, application which is dodo now if I enter it, you can see we are having this to do app in our PM2 instance as well. Now if I just close this application, okay, I forgot one more thing. Uh, before doing that, uh, we actually changed our code here, but we didn't add it to the build, right? So we have to also add build if I do some changes in our client folders, right? So we have to recreate our builds as well. We have to do that as well. So let me just write npm run build. Because these latest changes will not be available in here. Oh, I forgot. I have to go to the client directory, right? And then I have to run npm run build. And this build command will uh, add the latest changes and create the latest production build inside this build folder. And because we know that this build folder is served by the server, so we will be having the latest changes as well. Now for now, let me just stop it. Uh, let me just show you all the instances first uh, and PM2 status. And I can stop my uh, in any instance by uh, writing PM2 stop. 
and to do app the name of the instance so i want to stop this so you can see this uh, instance is stopped if you want to see the logs of any particular instance you can do uh, pm2 logs and then you can specify the name of the app for which you want to see the log so to see whether it started successfully or not you can see uh, it was started successfully but uh, as i told you that our latest changes were not uh, added inside the build so we would have to push it again to add the builds in the product uh, like in the github repository so that's why we are, we are doing this so let me just pause the video and let this process be finished and then we'll start again. So as you can see, uh, our build is completed. Now I can simply push it. I can write npm. Oh, sorry. I can write git add and then I can add all the git files and then I can specify added build for api change any kind of message that you want to specify and then i can push it basically so i can push dash u origin master and that's it you can see we have pushed it and now i can simply go to my app which is an ST docs and then we have to do then we have dodo uh, it doesn't matter right so now in here what I can do let me just show you okay now I can simply add git pull here so I'll be having the latest uh, changes now what I can do I can simply start my to do app uh, let me just add some status first and see the name perfectly now I can start it by using pm to start uh, sorry to do app so that's it now it started let me just show you the logs of logs of to do app as well whether it has started successfully or not yeah it started now I can simply close it you can see I have closed the terminal but my app is still available at this port okay let me just go to the place one more time oh sorry let me just okay pm2 logs uh, what was that to do app yeah, it's working fine let me just check the IP one more time yeah it's this one you can see it is there now if I just close it it should be there yeah you can see it is there so it takes a little bit time in starting the app so that's why it was having that issue I can see uh, my terminal is closed and now it's still running now if I go to the register part here I can simply register any app any let me just show you the networking part as well whether it, it is making a right request or not okay now in here let me just write something Tan Ahmed and I can specify the password let's see okay now if I register you can see I'm registered successfully you can save it you can see in this also I'm making request to this API address now instead of the previous one the local host one now we'll be able to successfully create our to-do applications as well or to-do task as well so if I create let's say homework do homework and then if i click on ok you can see we have it and now if i go to my database collection so i should be able to see uh, the to do app you can see i have this homework do homework and our users as well which is aftan ahmed and the password is encrypted as well so this is our app 
and this is running on a production server and that's it we did it okay so uh, later on if you want to add some more things you can learn about how you can add domain uh, names or hosting uh, like domain names in light sale that you can add instead of this uh, api address because that's not uh, the right thing in right way we can also add domain as well we need to purchase domain and then from godaddy or from anywhere and then we can uh, add that domain here as well so we can make use of that as well so that's a different thing we need certificates for that we will not be doing in this course we just uh, understood that how we can basically uh, deploy our app inside a light sale instance so i hope you understood something if you have some issues or uh, uh, like doubts you can comment down and let me know what is the issue and we'll be trying to fix that so that's it let's meet in the next video thank you for watching